Okay, so to get started, I'm starting off with day old hair. So I did wash my hair the previous day to this, and I did, the only special thing that I did was I added a root booster, and I do have a little bit of my whey oil on the ends of my hair. This just, the root booster is going to also help with volume with this look, and it's going to help with texture. So that is what I am working with. That is all I have. I will link everything that I use down in the description bar below, just in case you're interested. I always start off by parting my hair into two separate sections so like a top half and a bottom half it just makes it a lot easier to work with making sure that I didn't miss any any hair strands and then I part the bottom half into two separate halves so that I have like a right side and a left side because once again that's just going to make it easier on me in order to really be able to curl all of my strands of hair and then I'm just simply going to be running my fingers through my hair to make sure that there aren't any knots or tangles that I need to take care of beforehand. If there are, I would usually use a wide tooth comb in order to avoid any kind of additional damage on my hair. And now I'm simply going to start by working in one inch sections and working with a one inch curling iron. And I'm going to start off by wrapping the piece around the barrel away from my face. Now in order to get a nice beachy wave look, I usually hold my barrel away from my scalp by about an inch and I hold the end by about an inch. So I just curl in between, hold it in place for about five to six seconds and then move on to another one inch piece. The next one inch piece that I will do is I will be going toward the face. So that is kind of the rotation or the pattern that you want to follow is one section curling it away from the face, the next section curling it toward the face and so on and so forth. And once I'm done with one side, I go ahead and I move on to the other side of the bottom portion of my hair and work the exact same way that I did on my left side, which is one inch section away from the face, one inch section toward the face, leaving about an inch from my scalp to the actual barrel of the wand and then leaving about an inch on the bottom. So you don't wanna curl all the way to the ends and you don't wanna start the curl right at your scalp. You kinda of just wanna leave some room so that it looks nice and soft and just you know like a nice soft beachy wave Okay, so now that I am done with the bottom half of my hair, it's time to move on to the top. I am going to be parting this into three different sections by making kind of a triangle shape right above my forehead and then parting the rest into two separate sections into like a left side and a right side. I hope that makes sense. The only reason that I do it like this is because I don't like to part my hair down the middle I just feel like my forehead's just a little small for that and so I do like to part it more on one side than I do the other side and I just feel like I need to curl that section in the direction that I want it to go in so that is why I just create three different sections like my bangs a left side and a right side as opposed to just doing a left side and a right side Okay, so now that I've sectioned everything off, I'm going to go ahead and work in the exact same way that I worked on the bottom half of my hair. The only difference with this is that any pieces of hair that I grab that are directly along my face, so directly along my hairline, I am curling away from my face. I'm never curling toward my face around those sections, but everywhere else, it's just alternating. And then moving on to the left side and just working with that in the exact same way that I worked with the right side. It's all very repetitive, but I swear it does not take that long and it the end result, it's just, I love it.
Okay, so after I've had everything else curled, now it's time to move on to my bangs. So since I do like to part them more on one side of my head than in the middle, I like to part it going to my left side. That is the side that I'm going to be curling toward. So just taking one inch sections and just curl, grabbing the wand with my right hand because I am going to be curling it as if it were the left side um, because it is going to be going it toward that side. Now, if I was going to be parting it down the middle, then I would do half and half, one side going to the right side, one side going to the left side, or if I was going to be parting to the right, then I would do it like I did my right side. But since it is going to be going toward my left, that is why I'm curling like if I was curling on my left side. I don't know, hope that makes sense. I know it's a lot of information to kind of try to decipher and you know kind of just by watching what I'm doing try to make sense of it but I really hope it does make sense if it doesn't please let me know what your questions are down in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them for you so just curling that one piece going toward my face one piece going away from my face of course the pieces that are right around the forehead area I am always going to be curling away from my face just simply because I don't want them coming toward my eyes or toward my face I just I, hair in my face just kind of bothers me <laughs> so that is why I always curl away around the face once I am done that is pretty much it I'm just going to let those curling or those curled pieces along the front section that I just curled I'm gonna let them cool down since everything else should be pretty cooled down I'm just waiting for that to cool down once they are all cooled off I go ahead and I run my fingers through my hair in order to loosen up all of the curls and make them a lot wavier and just a lot more beachy look looking. And then once I'm done with that, I go ahead and I always flip my hair over. I always just kind of like scratch at my scalp in order for the root booster to kind of just help me out with some volume and then flip my hair back. And there you have it, the perfect beachy wave that is super simple. I literally do this in like 15 minutes. Doesn't take too much at all. And it's second day hair, so it's like lazy day hair for me. And that completes the look. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video.